All right, I am standing here with our 2015 Conservation Activist Awardee, Miss Kristen Davis. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you to the festival. It means a lot. We are so thrilled. You know, the beneficiary of the festival is the Catalina Island Conservancy, so this is right in our wheelhouse. Talk about this film that we're screaming here today, screening here today, Gardeners of Eden. Gardeners of Eden follows the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, and that's an organization that I know and love and have worked for since 2009. And and um, it's basically on the front lines of the poaching crisis. Um, every 15 minutes, an elephant is being killed for its ivory right now. If we don't act, they'll be gone from the wild in, in 10 years. So um, our brave rangers go out every day. And it's, 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 I just wanted people to see and feel what it's like when I get to go to Kenya. And we also raise the baby orphans of the elephants that are poached. So there's, there's a lot of the adorable baby orphans and then there's a lot of the difficulty and you know it's just such a kind of magical place to go to and then we have to deal with the poaching so I, I just wanted people to be aware of it that was my goal well see it's it's funny I just have such an affinity for elephants I don't know what it is I always have and then I you know I hear the see the little headlines of the right. snapshots right. I really want people to hear it because you are so familiar give us a really then what is happening out there? And then we're going to talk about the redemptive value in like this film. Well, every 15 minutes, assorted people are killing an elephant for its ivory. Is it because they're starving? They need the money? I mean, no. What, what? No. It is international crime syndicates and terrorist groups are funding this. So not only are we losing elephants to, to poaching, but we're funding um, people who, who have only bad, bad things in mind with that money. They want to buy more weapons you know they it's really the bigger picture that is the issue which is first of all the demand for ivory if there was no demand for ivory this wouldn't be happening because the illegal crime syndicates and the terrorists wouldn't make money from the ivory so first of all we have to get rid of the demand which is harder said than done okay people go oh yes yes but america is the second biggest ivory market in the world second to China. People do not seem to know this. That's okay. part of the other reason I made the film. Good. To tell people this, because okay. we're trying, the government, our administration has been trying very hard to pass an ivory ban, and the NRA has been fighting them back. This has been going on for two years now. Do you, hear, do you hear this, people? Okay. Exactly. So now what we need to do is pass state by state bans. The California ban, unless something happened when I was gone to England, has still not been signed by our governor. I don't know why. It's passed both houses of our state Senate and Congress. I don't know why he hasn't signed it, but he hasn't signed it. So all of us in conservation are concerned that the NRA has gotten to Governor Jerry Brown, though that would be shocking. Hmm. Let's hope not, but we need to speak up. People have a voice, and I think our politicians need to know that we actually care and that we're paying attention. And my fear, part of the reason I've made the film, I don't want to wake up one day and open the paper and have it say elephants are extinct. And that's yeah. how I felt like it was going. Like uh -huh. there's no room, no one's telling the actual story as it's happening. Then all of a sudden one day they're gone and it's too late to actually do anything. So that's why I made the film. And hence the reason why we have you here at the film festival because we wanted to honor this and get the word out and really give it more attention to this subject. And we're so grateful that you, that you you put all your energy to produce this film. Thank you, thank you. I, I, you know, it happened kind of by mistake. I found these young filmmakers and I sent them down to the trust to make a three minute short, mm -hmm. which turned out beautifully. And they came back just so impassioned. They didn't know what was going on. And they were like, we have to make a film. We have to make a film. We yeah. have to make a film. And I was like, okay. <laughs> here we are just really quickly. I just, because we're here, we're here in beautiful Catalina it's Island. So beautiful. Yeah, so just a few words and you're, where are you staying? And here on the island, how's that? And it's so beautiful. I've never been. I can't wait to, to walk around a little bit. Um, we took the helicopter here. It was gorgeous. We're going to take the boat home just for fun. And um, it's just great. It's beautiful here. Well, congratulations. We're so proud of this film. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Thank, Thank you. you.